Hi, I'm Dave Wurzel and you're watching PHTV4 and this is Around Payless and we are at the Farmer's Market on Harlem Avenue and uh, I'm with Kara Case with the Parks and Rec Department and we've got a theme day going here, I'm guessing, but I'm going to let you say, Kara, what's the theme day today? The theme is Hawaiian Day, if you didn't notice, super fun. All right, yeah, I try to jump in. This is as close as I get. I, you know, before I, I also saw uh, there's scavenger hunts for kids at the farmer's market in addition to all the farmer's market stuff, right? What's going on there? Yeah, so we definitely do a scavenger hunt with every theme that we have. Um, so today is Hawaiian theme, so all the kids are going around just looking for all the little Hawaiian figures around at the vendor stations. And then after they complete their scavenger hunt, they'll come to our tent and grab um, a craft to take home. Nice, bonus there. So uh, Farmer's Market has been going all summer. How's it been going so far? And how about just a quick sample of a variety of the vendors that you have? Yeah, so the market's going really well. Thankfully, we've had beautiful weather, especially today with the sun being out. All the vendors are super happy. Every market, we're just getting more and more um, customers coming. And then a couple of our vendors sell, like we have juices, we have tea, we have coffee. So we have uh, jewelry, we have crafts. Um, whole bunch of things, tamales, empanadas, anything you can think of pretty much is what we have here. So I was say, we have produce. I saw in your tent that you had some fresh produce <laughs> socked away for later. Yes, we sure did. We have strawberries, cherries, rhubarb, everything, all the good stuff. It's delicious. So come on by. All right. So we've got produce and then obviously behind us, if you're looking to do some garden work, we can do that too, okay? Um, so that sounds good. So this is a theme day. I know you have another theme day next week, and then there's a break uh, in Farmer's Market every Wednesday, but I think you have one off, one day coming off, right? Correct. So next Wednesday is going to be our sports theme, and then the following Wednesday, July 5th, we won't have our market. We will be closed just due to the holiday. Okay, so then we'll see you back on July 12th. All right, thanks, Kara. Uh, let's go meet some of the vendors. We got a great variety of uh, you know vendors here, and obviously a great crowd. It's a beautiful day, so let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we're at uh, Wonder Pork a vendor here. Uh, we're talking with owner Chris Lee, who's actually got an incredible uh, story. This is your second time at, at this first year at this. Uh, farmers market, but you're a fourth generation farmer, is that right? Can you tell us about what products you have in, in sure. your business a little bit? Well, I'm from downstate, about an hour and a half south of here in central Illinois, and we've got frozen pork and we've got a, a hog farm, and, and like Dave said, we're I'm a fourth generation, and we used to raise it on a much larger scale commercially, but this kind of got pinched out of the business. We were too small to kind of compete, so about uh, two years ago, we decided to pivot and start selling individual cuts of pork ourselves straight to the customer. So that's what we're doing. So I got frozen pork, uh, all cuts, and then uh, I've got a neighbor that raises beef, so we brought some of his uh, beef, and another neighbor that raises some chicken, so I've got his chicken packaged and frozen as well. Well, thanks for making the trip up here, and I love the idea. So this is, I mean, you're, you're buying from a, an Illinois farmer, fourth generation. I love the family story part of it. And you're getting this product, not something, you know, a factory processed out there. This is, this is yours. Uh, Chris, thank you for being here. Good luck. I hope you have a good summer. And uh, I'm actually, I'm looking at this thing. I'm going to have to try something right. before I leave. Right. So anyway, thank you. Thank good you. luck this summer. Thanks. All right, we're at another vendor here, and this is almost perfect timing because they're getting really close to lunchtime for me, and I'm starting to get hungry, and unfortunately, we're going to be talking about what to get next. Um, I'm with Mario. Mario, can you introduce yourself and what your business is? Hi, my name is Mario Castro. Uh, I'm here with Taqueria Mi Taquito. Uh, we sell tacos, burritos, and quesadillas, and steak, pork, and chicken. Uh, original Mexican grill, Mexican cuisine. Uh, we always guarantee freshness, and we always make sure to deliver our food with love. Uh, my parents started this business around 20 years ago when my father first came to the United States. Um, you know, they had uh, difficulties with the restaurant and now we're continuing with this, uh, you know, because of kids and all that. Um, we always make sure to deliver our food with love and we always guarantee freshness. I was going to say, that's a pretty powerful ingredient if you're putting love in there. Based on the line I saw when we first walked up, you guys must be doing pretty well. How about what's off your, so tacos and burritos and quesadillas, what's your favorite? My personal favorite is the uh, pork burrito with everything on it. And then how about, um, like these are family recipes, right? Is that the, including the love ingredient, but based on your mom and dad's recipes? Yeah, this is uh, their own recipe. You know, of course, we follow the original style of the Mexican cuisine, but we do add our own uh, few touches in there with like the marination and all that. Okay. Um, 
yeah, everything's very good, and it's just his passion, and he puts everything he can into it. No, that sounds good. It sounds tasty, and I and I'm gonna recommend. I wish the camera could pick up smells because it smells good behind me too. Um, how about other favorite? Like, what are customer favorites? Is there some to be certain items that people come back for or order a lot of? Yeah, uh, I see. Notice that a very frequent and like um, customer favorite is the steak tacos and the chicken quesadilla. All right. Well. So you got options. You got tacos. You got burritos. You got quesadillas, and uh, you know you got a lot of favorites here, a lot of variety, and it does smell good. And obviously, they get they've got a lot of traffic. So if you're hungry, this is a perfect place to stop by. Mario, thank you. Wish you guys luck. Thanks for coming to the farmers market. Uh, good to have you here. Thank good you luck. So much. Thank you for having me. Okay, we're here with another vendor, and this is uh, Danny's Natural Juice Blends, right? Okay. And I'm with the owner here. Uh, Danny, can you tell us what your product is and what you make, and maybe how you got started, too? Okay. Well, I'm Danielle Marshall, also known now as Danny, uh, and we make 100% all-natural cold-pressed juice. There are no additives, no preservatives. There's no added sugar. Uh, there's nothing in our juices, just made with a lot of love. It's a great ingredient to have. Uh, how did you get started in juices? Is, is this something you've been doing all your life or is this a new thing? How did you get inspired to go this route? Well, actually, I have not been doing this all of my life. I actually love to drink uh, sugary and carbonated juices. And then the doctor told me I was entering the pre-diabetic range. And being a healthcare professional, a speech language pathologist by profession, I have the experience of looking at the patient's chart and actually seeing diabetes uh, being one of the very first diagnoses you see, then followed by, let's say, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure. So basically, for me, diabetes meant the beginning of the breakdown of my organs. And so I reached back to juicing and I started utilizing it in my life as meal replacements, pre-workout, post-workout. Uh, it just really changed my life. I was able to release 60 pounds utilizing uh, juicing and a change of mindset. And after that, like I had women start to ask me to help them. And so that's kind of how Danny's was born. Well, I, I mean, that's a wonderful story because it uh, it's inspired out of something good for yourself and also helping others. Yes. And I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb here and make a guess. It tastes good, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, did I say delicious, nutritious, low calorie? Checking a lot of boxes there. What are some of the flavors? Uh, so our signature juice is actually called the bomb. It's pineapple, cucumber, lemon, and lime. It's the very first juice I made that I called Slim and Sassy after I released all that weight and then men wouldn't buy it. So I had to change the name. So it's the bomb. But we do uh, carrot juices. Uh, so we do green blends. We do uh, beets. All of those have their own important properties uh, that are important for us to incorporate for our health, wellness, fitness goals. And we also, in the summertime, do um, some seasonal or summertime shy that are like watermelon bases. Well, it sounds like a great variety. Somebody's going to find a flavor that they're going to like, right? More than one. All right. Uh, Danny, thank you very much. Good luck. Uh, what a great product and what a great journey to get here for it. So thank you. Good thank luck you. with it. Thank you. Okay, we've got one more vendor here that we want to visit with, and uh, this is, we're giving you the full variety today, and this is somebody who's been doing this for a long time. She's got a great story and a great background. Uh, I'm talking to uh, Laurel, but this is, your place is Lori's Creations. Right. Can you tell us about your business and how long you've been doing it? My business is, well, I, everything I make is homemade. I do the blankets, table runners, aprons, baby things. Uh, I've been doing it over 15 years, so well, it was fat more than that because I had three daughters and I made all their clothes as they were growing up until they got to high school. <laughs> then they didn't want mom to make anything up, oh, but I did make all their prom dresses and when they all got married, mom made all their wedding, their dresses and their bridesmaids, everybody. So. so I was just saying, so you've got a background in a variety of things. I'll bet the kids were, were happy in high school when they got to go out and get their own stuff. But oh. think about the personalizing of a prom dress. What a special thing I that know. is. Yeah, it was. And the, the wedding dresses are even better. Oh, you did the wedding dresses yes. too? Yes, and, and it was funny because I had the youngest daughter had had, been, had had an injury, so she could not walk for a year. So we were making her dress, so one day we went to a bridal store. 
And she looked, she says, oh, I want that one, Mom. I said, oh, I'm not putting out $5,000. So I got the material, and we made the dress exactly the way she wanted it. Oh, beautiful. That's wonderful. So when I'm looking around here, you can go way beyond. You've got great things here, uh, a variety of product. But uh, I, I guess I'm going to have to ask, I, there's, there's some sewing to my daughter, my wife, uh, they all sew. What's the, what's the machine that helps you create these great things? Right now I'm using a singer. Okay. And uh, I've been using that for maybe the last 15 years. Uh, the kids bought me for Christmas one year a heavy-duty singer. So when that, th when that petered out, I went and bought another one. And that one is getting a little bit slower now. So I think I've kind of wa wasted that one, too. <laughs> so you're headed towards a new one. So you said you've been doing it for 15 years. Last well, question for you. How would you get started doing this? Actually, I got started... Uh, in high school, I had one semester of sewing, and then when I was in college, I was planning get, to get married, and I got a sewing machine as a wedding gift. So that's when I started sewing. Okay. So, and that would have been 50-some years ago. <laughs> so 15 years of this, but 50 plus years of experience, that's right. great. Um, well, I'm going to encourage people to check it out, whether for yourself or gifts for others. Uh, she's got some beautiful products, and you know that there's a, a world of experience uh, being put into uh, making these things. Uh, so, uh, Lori, thank you very much. All right, check out Lori's creations at the Palos Heights Farmer's Market. Uh, some great things there, and good luck. Okay? Thank you. I'm Dave Wurzel, and you've been watching Around Palos, and we have been at the Farmer's Market in Palos Heights on Harlem Avenue. Come down this summer of 2023. A lot of great vendors here. Thank you for watching.